视新闻的各位网友，大家上午好，我是记者顾国宁。今天呢，我们况且况且逛海南呢，来到了第五站，这里是西茂洲岛，简称西岛。如果大家对这个名字很陌生的话，没有关系，我们可以隔海远眺。Trip at Simao Zhou Island. So you may not be familiar with this place, but let's have a look. Eight nautical miles from this place, there is a city called Sanya. So today, we're going to have a look at the cultural industries and uh, uh, creatives from Hainan Province. So this is Wang Tiangge from Hainan a Satellite Television. This is a cultural creative, uh, Miss Qin Jiayi. Please say hello to each other and to our audience. Today we're very honored to have uh, Jia Yi as our guide to show us around this uh, very distinctive fishing village. So the first time I came here, it feels that the waves and the sea breezes um, feel like very slowly and this very leisurely environment. And it has been 400 years of migration on this island. Uh, it feels quite different from other islands. You can see the walls, uh, they are made of uh, corals or stone or rocks. Well, you have any questions on this particular topic, you can actually post questions online and we can have interactions. Jiayi has been living here for many years and uh, this is a very familiar place to, to her. So this wall is made of uh, coral rocks. Yes, indeed. The peripheral walls and the uh, uh, cottages as well as the uh, houses are made of uh, coral rocks. Actually, uh, most of the houses are made of uh, coral rocks. So the, the pedestrians and the uh, motorized lanes are separate. Let's take a look at this wall. You see there are patterns on the wall. Are they um, artificially carved into the wall or are they uh, naturally formed? Because we can see that they are very um, uh, beautiful in terms of the design and the patterns. So previously, uh, the patterns are only found in local uh, and smaller areas of the wall and we conducted some investigations and we found out that uh, after years of erosion by winds and uh, water the original patterns were revealed now you can see that it feels like a um, master painting Yes, indeed, it feels like a star started um, night sky. It feels like Dali, Savadi Dali. Well, here we have a um, board. It tells us where we are heading, the, the signs. The Militia Women Museum, the uh, Island Culture and Creativity Museum, Caroline old house, fishing village market, as well as the floating library or the sea study, which is the uh, the place we are visiting today. Hello. Welcome to Ximaozhou Island. So the next place we're going is the uh, old house on the Ximaozhou Island. On this island, there are certain places that are well protected. This is not the peak season for tourism, um, but every day the number of tourists can um, reach around 4,000. We have seen quite a few uh, tourists on this island. And this is a, a very nice place for uh, people to visit, and this was not open in the past to public. and. It was open to the general public after January. So the village, the fishing village, and the uh, scenic area 
were made public to uh, tourists, and now you can have access to both the fishing village as well as the uh, scenic spots. It was opened in January this year, and the two parts of the island were merged so that people can have a closer and more uh, intimate understanding of the culture on this island. Um, this island has around 4,000 uh, people working and living on this island. They are permanent residents on this island. Uh, there are some students who may uh, uh, go outside the island to pursue their studies, and they also have a lot of uh, tourists coming in uh, to visit this island. During the Chinese New Year, the Spring Festival, uh, what is the number of tourists? It can reach around 10,000 every day, and that's when the action is. Here we are. So if we go along this alley, and this is where the old area is separated from the uh, new area, and it has 400 years of history. Um, it dates back to the late Qing Dynasty. And this wall feels different from the one that we looked at uh, just now. And it, it is still made of coral, but the coral is actually permeable, and it breathes. It's like living in a cave, and it's cool in the summer and warm in the winter. So I'm 185 centimeters, and the, the house feels very uh, low, low rise. Why it's very low rise? This is actually designed to protect the um, citizens against um, cyclones and typhoons. It's uh, cyclone proof. That's why we design the houses uh, in a very low rise manner to make it low. And it has been a hundred years since the uh, building of this house. So we have some questions online. Uh, people are asking this is not a cold time for us to visit, right? Actually, yesterday it was quite cold, but today it's a little bit overcast and cloudy, but it's not very cold. Now you can see very clearly the patterns of corals, uh, stones and rocks, and it's very beautiful. The coral rocks um, are very easy to cut into different pieces, and people may call it uh, white rocks or white stone, and they are sourced locally. And in the past, we didn't know that coral stones uh, were f environmentally uh, friendly. We only think that uh, this is um, uh, the only material that we can use. And uh, based on the uh, generations of wisdom, and we use this coral stone to make houses and uh, they at the same time uh, protect the environment. These people come from uh, Fujian province. They uh, work on the uh, uh, sugarcane pl plantations in the uh, Fujian province. And they used to uh, be lacking in resources, and they have to rely on fishing and uh, coral resources. But it turned out that the coral uh, is very permeable, and um, it breathes. So we have another question. Uh, is coral uh, stone vulnerable to cyclones? Uh, coral is uh, cool. It is a very nice insulation against um, the cold weather, and it is also a uh, cyclone proof. So we have another question from Tao Tao um, online. So this is uh, Ximao Zhou Island. So this is the residential area and. Here you can see some high-rise uh, buildings and houses. Uh, why is it uh, more higher than the than, than the than the old ones? Well, in the 1970s, uh, 
people began to、uh, bear more children, and that's why they have to build、uh, bigger houses to accommodate more children. And this is quite similar to the Nanyang style, or the style in、uh, the Southern Oceans, or in Singapore and Malaysia and these areas. What is this? Maybe you have to observe this from a distance, and it's an artifact. What、well, these are、uh, installations based on sea themes and culture, and these are sea creatures. So basically, this is a jellyfish. There is a signature sea creature on this island, that is the turtles. On the Daimaozhou Island,、um, there are very、uh, famous turtles, and they can、um, come onto the island and、uh, find food. So this is the uh, uh, signature creature for the Daimaozhou Island. The first time I see this, I thought that this is、um, the barbecue store. Um, do the turtles come out to the island to spawn and bear the、uh, offspring?s Yes, that's why we are calling for more protection of these sea creatures and animals. Actually, we can observe the building from the outside. Before we come inside, so we have been talking about the old houses. We may know that the ho- old houses are very fragile and vulnerable, and、uh, some of them are very vulnerable to be demolished because of the de-、uh, growing demands in the new era. And so,、uh, a lot of the old houses have already been replaced. So we have been thinking that. Is it possible for us to use these old houses uh, to uh, preserve the、uh, culture on this island and to showcase the original forms of the lifestyle and the culture of the Demojo people? So demonstration is not enough. So we have to put some creativity into the design of this kind of building. So we consider some of the creativity into this kind of design, and we call it. A culture and creative showroom, and we also gather the villagers and、uh, let them to brainstorm and put some more elements into this kind of showroom. And this one is a fishing net. This is a real one. I'm standing next to the fishing net. This is very delicate. Some viewers on the internet、uh, also asked a question: How to get on the Ximaozhou Island? First,、uh, you can go to the harbor of the Sanya City, and you can take a boat to come to this western island. It takes around like ten minutes, and we also have some guest house in this western island, and you can board the boat. From Sanya directly, and this one is a bedroom from the fisherman. After some refurbishment, we make a sample for the guest house. Our idea is that in the future we want to transform these kind of、uh, ancient houses into bed and breakfast. So this is a very、uh, standard bedroom. It showcases like a sample for the bedroom of a fisherman. Actually, you can get the flavor of、uh, seaside life here. So all of these decorations, they have a kind of、uh, element of、uh, fishing village, and the equipments are actually from the fishing boats. We recycle the parts of the fishing boat and make it a decoration. So this one、uh, is the paddle of the fishing f- boat. 
so why there was some covering of it? We made some refurbishment, but still we see some marine organisms covered on the pillar. So this room is quite modernized. So for the chair, are they also left uh, from the ancient houses? Yes. And we put a few sentences on the wall to introduce the history of the West Island. For example, we identify some timeline. And uh, also here, it emphasize that the ancestors from the West Island is from Fujian province. And also, it talks about the history, the migration in the Qing dynasty, dynasty. Because of the typhoon, some of the people from the Fujian province uh, actually uh, migrated into the West Island. Now we can see the front door for the cultural and creative showroom. As I just mentioned, uh, this is the uh, showroom that we have created. We want to gather our villages here and give them some training on how to make art crafts so they can make uh, those creative products. For this area, it's also open to the visitors from the public. Uh, let's take a look out there. We see some people are taking training there. So we want to educate the villagers how to make the art craft. So uh, we gather some sand, dirt, and also some coral rocks. And then we make those into art. So this one is actually uh, presented by one artist using all the existing elements that we have on the fishing island. These are very beautiful. And let's go outside. I think uh, now they're having a class. Yesterday we have one training today. It's talking about um, how to make a hat with the leaf of the coconut. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the environment. Uh, all of these are actually made by the villagers. Some of them are made by artists, but some of them are made by the villagers. It's a very nice place for a photograph. I think for girls, they really like to take photos when they're visiting the scenic areas. Well, we see so many people here, they're making the straw hats. There are so many people here. Now they start um, to use the cocoa lamp prom to make the hat. Can we see the end product for the hat? Yes, just one moment. It looks very big, so it can help to protect you from the rain and the wind. So we can see many people from different generations, they are actually uh, making how to make a hat. So one viewer from the internet said that uh, actually the visitors, uh, they want to participate in this kind of activity. This is a demonstration area. Now we have a ready-made hat. Let's take a look. It's very beautiful. This is what it looks like. It is very cool and fresh. So 
Some people are saying that uh, such a nice hat made of coconut leaf is very light. It's very convenient. You can take it when you go out on the travel. Let's continue our tour. Really lovely place. Now let's take a look at the vessel. Uh, this is a fishing boat, a scrapped fishing boat. It used to park on the seaside, and now we move it to this creative and cultural room. For this culture and uh, creative showroom, we don't want to uh, waste all of those obsolete uh, products or the equipment, so we want to gather all of those um, obsolete uh, fishing vessels and bring them alive in this showroom. If I have the chance, I will want to learn how to make the hat. I want to go from the other side. So when we start this uh, culture and creative showroom, we open it uh, from last November, less than half a year. This one is very interesting. Let's take a look. This is the paddle. And also, it shows the name uh, of the road for this West Island. We want to make some signs uh, for the road, and then we think maybe it is very creative to put the name of the row on the paddle of the fishing boat. Where are we heading next? Now we are going to the exhibition hall for the militia woman. So at this point, we want to interact with our netizens to see if they have any comments or questions. Let's see what questions they have. So one netizen said that uh, it is a great place to take photos, especially for girls. Yes, it's very beautiful scenery here. Start from the live streaming. Uh, we are talking about the uh, West Island from our own perspective. Um, now let's take a holistic view of the West Island.
各位网友，刚才呢，我们已经啊、呃、穿过了老屋区，现在呢，来到了一栋非常高的。So we just go through the、uh, old house area. Now we are at the entrance of a high-rise building. It's a primary school. The most beautiful courtyard is actually in a primary school. This is actually a aspiration from the people from the West Island. This primary school was built six years ago. So, how many、uh, students or pupils we have? We have around 200 students、uh, studying here. All of them are coming from the village, and this primary school is the only educational institute in this island. So, some people asking whether we are live streaming. Yes, definitely, we are、uh, bringing you the live streaming. For this primary school, I was thinking yesterday whether this is the only primary school that. Half the、uh, beautiful scenery of the seaside view, and the building next to it is the exhibition hall for the militia women of the West Island. So we just talk about some artistic feature、uh, of this island, and now we want to give you some、uh, flavor of the revolutionary significance of the West Island. So, for this place is well known for the A Sister Artillery Unit, and this kind of spirit has been passed down for several generations. I、uh, I know、uh, one of the、uh, well known film called Hai Xia is actually based on the stories of the militia woman. That was from West Island. It is a showcase that Chinese women rather arm up than make up. So this is one of the quotes from Chairman Mao. So this is a video clip of the movie I have just mentioned, and、uh, some villagers are watching this movie. So let's not disturb the viewers, and let's go outside. This is the poster for the movie Hai Xia, which was very popular back then. And here at Ximaozhou Island,、uh, this is where this story happened. And these are the eight militia women, and this is the story and the introduction. And it shows that the Chinese women、uh, do not powder their face. Instead, they have to、uh, go to the battlefield and face the powder. So just now we've seen some clips and、uh, pictures of the movie, and it brings us back to the old days. And some netizens say that they are the heroes, the heroines, actually. I, is this island big? It's two point eight square kilometers.、Um, let's hope that th this old area will not be、um, destroyed, and uh, let's uh, join in efforts to protect the cultural heritage here. And we hope that everyone can pitch in to make sure that this、um, old. Heritage will not be lost. So on the one hand, we have to carry forward the old traditions and ca cultural heritage. On the other hand, it's very important for us to、um, protect and preserve,、uh, so that we can continue to live with this cultural heritage. We have the corals and the、uh, sea creatures, and this is a、um, a square that was just finished. It has three functional 
zones. Uh, there is an uh, environmental protection zone, and there is a um, showroom for the cultural artifacts, and there is a cultural activity zone. So this is the highlight of our trip today, and a very romantic and lovely place. It's called the Floating Library or the Sea Study. So actually, in the introduction uh, documentary, you have seen the uh, Sea Study, and this is uh, refurbished from three abandoned fishing boats, and they're turned into uh, Sea Studies or floating libraries. So let's get inside from the right hand side. Let's get down, and um, our cameraman can have a panoramic view of this um, sea study. This is a very lovely island. It's beautiful. This is what the netizens have been saying online. This is the real fishing boat, it's indeed floating on the sea. It feels like you're reading uh, while um, the sea waves are uh, uh, moving and bringing you this romantic feeling. <laughs> but some people may feel uh, seasick, and it takes a little bit of uh, adaptation and adjustment to the environment. What's this made of? This is made of um, abandoned steel cables, and you see it's a uh, uh, Dolphin made of the uh, sea cables. Well, the teeth are very uh, lifelike. Let's get inside and take a look at the uh, sea study. <coughs> so you pick up the book. Uh, at wherever the wind has blown the uh, pages to. So this is the uh, slogan, because we want to advocate a natural reading, a reading that is um, a natural part of your life. So this is the first section, the first boat. Welcome to our sea study, the floating library on the sea. And this is the only library on the island. And this is the only place that is open to the public uh, to read books here. Um, and in the cabin, you can see uh, books everywhere. And uh, altogether, we have 4,000 books in our collection, and they're categorized into different uh, themes based on the needs of the tourists and people. So this is a book list we recommend to people. Um, for instance, uh, how to read a book, uh, The Warden. And we have The uh, Analects by Confucius. Uh, some of the books are recommended by Islanders. Uh, we have children's books. Uh, for instance, some people may say that they want to read archaeology or mm, Chinese history. And when we first came here, uh, we were very excited and impressed by uh, people's um, uh, needs and demands for reading, because we used to be very pessi pessimist uh, pessimistic. We thought that. Um, People on the island may not want to read. But right now, we see that since it was uh, opened, and the villagers are coming in swarms to read the books. Are these books free? Yes, indeed, because um, these books are financed by the local government, and they're free to both the islanders and the tourists. And you can enjoy the books on this uh, boat. This is the second uh, fishing boat. You can also uh, download the uh, uh, CCTV um, app, and you can scan the QR code. 
to watch the live streaming of the Boal Forum for Asia and other events. This is the second fishing boat and and this is the reading area and and it is also an area for hosting salons and you can just uh, sit on the uh, floor and read and children just sit on the floor and they can host uh, reading sessions and salons and these are uh, young people who are very interested in these events Yeah. yeah, students are having classes today because of the uh, uh, tomb sweeping holiday. Uh, um, in other times, there would be a lot of people on the fishing boat. So this is uh, a very popular uh, spot for kids and children. And let's take a look at the third fishing boat. So we have taken a look at the uh, reading area and the salon area, and th this feels like a dormitory on a campus. So what is this? You can have a rest here. Uh, yeah, this is designed and envisioned to be an international hostel. Uh, A lot of young people nowadays, uh, they don't make plans when they uh, travel. So we want to provide a space for young people to uh, read and uh, have a break and uh, enjoy themselves and relax here in the hostel. So you have the bed and you can just lie down and uh, enjoy the view. Uh, it's very romantic and lovely and you can enjoy the sunrise. We have the history of the Chinese literature by uh, Qian Mu. This is an oral account of the Chinese history, and it's not open yet. It's a new book, but next time when you when you're here, you can enjoy the books and also the view. Oh, we have another space here, and this is a very comfortable and cozy space. Yeah, look at the window, and you see the view, and it's very nice and lovely. Do you feel uh, seasick on the boat? Let me say a few words about my feeling. Uh, it, it, it rocks a little bit, but uh, I, I don't feel seasick at all. It's very romantic. Do we have postcards on this island and so that we can send these postcards to our friends and families? Yes, indeed, we have some postcards. and. Um, And the Senya government will um, set up a postal office here, and then you can send the postcards and letters directly from the island to the outside place. Wow, it's very soft. I'm afraid I will just fall asleep if I lie down. So let's go to the first fishing boat to have a chat about this uh, floating library. Actually, there are a lot of uh, fishing elements. You see the straw hat, uh, uh, the f fish made of um, uh, wood and timber, and uh, it gives you this uh, urge to read the books and enjoy the environment here. Uh, we can just sit here around the table. So these little stools are prepared for kids, right? Uh, this is a very popular area for kids, and you can see there are some seashells. When children come here, they pick up the seashells from the beach. This is uh, the uh, souvenirs they um, bring from the beach. This is lovely because we are providing an environment for kids to read and the kids are actually um, rewarding the adults with their own uh, souvenirs and their own uh, creations. 
do you mean the uh, idea uh, of this fishing boat? It actually is closely related with the development of this island. And the um, we know that the pollution of the sea is very serious nowadays, and uh, some fishing boats have to be abandoned and taken out of service, uh, especially those that do not uh, comply with relevant environmental standards. But it used to be demolished and dismantled altogether. And we saw that when um, the islanders were upgrading the uh, industries and those equipment, uh, we, s we saw that there was a huge space for us to um, turn these wastes into treasures, into resources. So we uh, renovate and refurbish this equipment and turn it into a public cultural space where children can have access to books and uh, reading. and and. It turned out that our idea was uh, well received and acknowledged and supported by the government. So the government uh, made sure that this space is profitable for the islanders, not only in the industry, but also the education and culture. We didn't envision this uh, fishing boat as a cultural ambassador. We only wanted them to become a cultural space, a space for people to read. So that's the original idea, uh, a space for children to read and enjoy the books. But now we can see that not only the islanders and the villagers take it as a treasure, it's actually a cultural landmark, uh, attracting a lot of uh, tourists coming to this island to enjoy the uh, uh, floating library and they come all the way to see the uh, floating library and they stay here for a couple of days and uh, enjoy some quiet time. So now this one, uh, this sea library has been very popular right now on the internet. Yes. And uh, people always say that we want the younger generation to read more. This is actually the hope, the aspiration from the older generation of the fishermen. So after we built the floating library, we can see this is very uh, popular, especially for the children who grew up in this island. For the children, they want to read books. And also it shows that um, the fishermen, they also want their children um, to read, to receive more education. So we create this kind of platform to relate our children to the world. We bring more resources and information from the outside world. And for the children, they can get those information from the books. And also, uh, they can learn this kind of uh, information from the visitors. And we believe that in the near future, for these children, they will have a bright future. So they will not just stay in this West Island. They will step out to a outside world. You are talking about uh, the future. Now we have three fishing boats here as the library. So what is your future plan? Now we only have three fishing boats and in the future we may think of to build a small theater or to build another international hostel with larger space so we can call it a fish home or fish fishing guest house this is the idea what we want to make Hopefully, in the near future, we can refurbish the other obsolete or abandoned fishing boats and turn them into treasure for the village. So how long does it take you to make all of these upgrades? Actually, it takes us only 27 days to refurbish and de upgrade all the fishing boats. If you look at the cabins of uh, the fishing boat, it's quite different from where it used to be. In the past, the first part of the cabin was used to load the fish. 
And now we expand that area. With the seven, 27 days refurbishment, we are working in the upgrades of the fishing boat together with the fishermen because they are the ones who are familiar with the structure of the boats so they know where and how to make the upgrade. It is our joint effort. And we just talk about the uh, scrapped fishing vessels probably will generate some pollutions to the ocean. So what are our measures to deal with those pollutions? Sometimes we may have some sewage. We have a pipeline network which can help us to discharge the wastewater. So we will not discharge those wastewater to the ocean and to the sea. So it is very uh, environmental friendly. And some people are recommending maybe we can build a music hall in this area. In the, in the past, uh, some people, some adults may come here to play musical instruments in this area. So for the children, they can appreciate the music while they're reading the books. Um, actually, I feel so lucky to become a child in this village. And we really want to make this uh, area very environmental friendly. That's why we turn those uh, scrapped fishing vessels into treasures in this village. And also we can see those coral houses is also showcase our protection for the ecosystem. And we just step on this sea study. It's very comfortable and cozy.
江河水，情有情，我便都已送红军。万泉河，那是对于每一个中国人，我觉得可能都会有很深的记忆，因为大家。呃，都看过《红色娘子军》，都听过《万泉河水清又清》的这种歌曲。万泉河呢，确确实实是，也都深入海南人民的心里。更重要的，副厅长通过自己的工作，让守护人民这一份沉甸甸的职责能够得以呈现，让我倍感温暖和自豪。军民团结一下起，一下起。Yeah.